This is Will Nunziata, New York City-based director and creator of theater, television, and film. And today I am thrilled to be speaking with the acclaimed abstract painter, Jess Hope Curran. Hello, Jess, how are you? I'm doing well, how are you? <laughs> doing so much better now that I'm speaking with you, Jess. And I was telling you off camera, I mean, I absolutely love your art and I want the audience to know that they can reach and see all of your art with the links right below this video. I wanna know first and foremost, Jess, where were you born and when did your affinity for art and specifically painting truly come about? Yes, I was born in Woodside, Queens. In New York. Familiar. As a as a New Yorker. Yeah. Um, so I'm from Queens and my mom was a painter. So I had it around me as a child. So I always joke that I started painting before I was walking. I love so, it. Yeah. <laughs> What is it about abstract art specifically that you like most? I think it's the freedom of just letting it do its own thing. Um, I'm mostly like a poor um, paint on and then next day I come in to check how it dries and that's like the best, it's a surprise of how it all works out. I love that. So I love the fact that you're able to literally and figuratively lay the foundation of your piece and then be able to literally and figuratively step away from it to then revisit it with a new clean slate and then go from there. I just think it's, I love it. I just love like the idea of your process. It's, it's fascinating. Thanks. I mean, it's just, it's something to look forward to the next day. So it's really exciting. And also what a beautiful emotional release it can be for you, a healing journey that you can go on, but also, as I'm sure you've been told by people who see your art, a healing journey for them. Yes, it's definitely a process of emotions. And I mean, everyone can feel them. So <laughs> it's just something that happens. It's, it's fun to connect with people that way. Absolutely. I mean, look at it. it's a universal language, you know, and I'm thinking about you coming on board Phoenix and I'm so grateful that I've been able to speak with over 800 artists all over the world, over 200 of them being painters or sculptors or in some way in, you know, in that mm -hmm. discipline. And um, I'm just, I'm, I, I just love that it can promote conversation with people of different backgrounds, languages, creeds, genders. It's, it's, what are you most excited about, about the idea of, you know, conversing with other like-minded individuals in different countries about art? I mean, I think that's the best connector to know that other people are going after what they want and going for their, or, you know, manifesting their passion to, you know, make, make some sort of sense in the world since we're all trying to do that. I know. I mean, and thank God we have your art. I mean, I'm looking at it now and it's, <laughs> it evokes so much, just even dependent on like the light in my window, the way that it hits. But again, I'm watching it on a screen. <laughs> You're like, Will, you can get one of your own if you purchase. Now, how are, able, how, people are, how are people able, Jess, to purchase your artwork? Um, I have just been kind of selling on Instagram. I did not plan for that at all. But last year, people were at home and they're like, I just need to buy some art and like okay and it was mostly my friends and then they talked to their friends but it was mostly whatever I post on Instagram and that's been how I've been doing it. I had two studio opens this summer and that was a blast to have like friends over and you know make them buy another one I have good friends they're they're nice <laughs> but, that's amazing yeah that's, but I also love with your business I mean to quote one of my favorite movies Field of Dreams I really look at your business almost as like a build it and they will come that, you know, it's going to begin with those people that love and support you no matter what. And then it's going to be that chatter. And I mean, you have a new fan in little old Will on 57th street and <laughs> because look, there are a lot of abstract artists out there, but I don't know, there's something about your POV that's quite different. And I'm trying to put my finger on it. Do you maybe know what it is? Um, I think it's, me using the wood and the canvas in like a raw manner so it really like soaks up the colors that I'm using and I, I just kind of fell into inks in the last two years and it's been my favorite thing to to work with 
Do you find that the way that it soaks into the wood adds some sort of vibrancy and intensity to the color? Definitely. And then the whole idea of it drying and blending in and me being surprised about it, that's, that's the fun part. <laughs> that's amazing, Jess. Well, listen, thank goodness you haven't lost your childlike sense of wonder. And it is shown through all of your beautiful pieces. And <laughs> I'm, uh, I want to let our audience know again for more on the incredible Jess. You can read more about her right below this video. And Jess, I'm so excited for your for for meeting you. And I'm excited that we're now connected. Yeah, me too. That's the best part about the world these days. I can do that. Amen. Well, it was so nice to meet you. It was really nice meeting you, Well. <laughs>